Good morning, everyone, and we're back for our next reading of the New Testament. We're outside um, because my son has a friend over, and they're inside playing and enjoying life. So it's a little bit quieter out here, except um, it is a bit windy. So hopefully you all will be able to hear me today. Um, so for those who have been following along, we are in the book of Acts, and we're going to start on chapter 24 today. Now, we're going to talk about the accused of sedition, the defense before Felix, Felix procrastinates, and it's going to be a total of 27 verses. So let's go ahead and get started just because it is pretty windy out here. Alright, cool. <laughs> now after five days, Ananias the high priest came down with the elders and a certain orator named Tertullus. These gave evidence to the governor against Paul. And when he was called upon, Tert Tertullus began his accusation, saying, Seeing that through you we enjoy great peace and prosperity is being brought to this nation by your foresight, we, we accept it always and in all places, most noble Felix, with all thankfulness. Nevertheless, not to be tedious to you any further, I beg you to hear by your courtesy a few words from us. For we have found this man a plague, a creator of dissension among all the Jews throughout the world, and a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. Sounds familiar to these days, doesn't it? <laughs> he even tried to profane the temple, and we seized him, and wanted to judge him according to our law. But the commander, Lysias, came by and with great violence took him out of our hands, commanding his accusers to come to you. By examining him yourself, you may ascertain all these things of which we accuse him. And the Jews also assented, maintaining that these things were so. Then Paul, after the governor had nodded to him to speak, answered, Inasmuch as I know that you have been for many years a judge of this nation, I do the more cheerfully answer for myself, because you may ascertain that there that it is no more than twelve days since I went up to Jerusalem to worship. And they neither found me in the temple disputing with anyone, nor inciting the crowd, either in the synagogues or in the city, nor can they approve the things of which they now accuse me. But this I confess to you, that according to the way which they call a sect, so I worship the God of my fathers, believing all things that are written in the laws and in the prophets. I have hope in God, which they themselves also accept that there be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and the unjust. This being so, I myself always strive to have a conscience without offense toward God and men. Now after many years I came to bring alms and offerings to my nation. In the midst of some Jews from Asia found me purified in the temple, neither with a mob nor with tumult. With, nor with tumult. They ought to have been there before you to object if they had anything against me, or else let those who are here themselves say if they found any wrongdoing in me while I stood before the council, unless it is for this one statement which I cried out standing among them. Concerning the resurrection of the dead, I am being judged by you this day. But when Felix heard these things, having more accurate knowledge of the way, he adjourned and proceeding he adjourned the proceedings and said, When Lysias, the commander, comes down, I will make a decision on your case. So he commanded the centurion to keep Paul and to let him have liberty and told him not to forbid any of his friends to provide for or visit him. And after some days, when Felix came with his wife, Drusilla, who was Jewish, he sent for Paul and heard him concerning the faith in Christ. Now, as he reasoned about righteousness, self-control, and the judgment to come, Felix was afraid and answered, Go away for now. When I have convenient time, I will call for you. Meanwhile, he also hoped that the money would be given him by Paul, that he might release him. Therefore he sent for him more often and conversed with him. But after two years, Portius Festus succeeded Felix, and Felix, wanting to do the Jews a favor, left Paul bound. That concludes chapter 24 today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, so a lot of things in this Bible written over 2,000 years ago that are still so true today. And that's why, you know, this whole progressive Christianity trying to change the Bible to 
meet what we want it to say now is uh, it's a very dangerous game. Very, very dangerous game. The Bible was good then. The Bible is good now. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Love y'all. Uh, from Central Texas, God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess, he's right there to guide you, unseen, you're not alone.